What if you could save historical buildings, determine weather patterns from more than 200 years ago, and study the effects of global warming, all at the same time? UWG student Michael Edwards can. All he needs is a tree. My name is Michael Edwards. I'm a senior physical geography major here at the University of West Georgia. My concentration has mostly been in dendrochronology. My studies here at West Georgia are looking at trees and how they interact with the atmosphere and other climatic events. Each year the tree is going to put on an annual ring and that size is going to be impacted by various signals, maybe climatic signals or insect outbreaks is going to cause a variability. That variability allows us to actually link more trees together. And we'll take samples from an old house or a log cabin, which usually takes anywhere from a day to a couple weeks. We'll analyze them, build our chronology, which is just a series of overlapped samples, put calendar dates to it. So that way we can tell when the structure was built, maybe prove that it was of the right era and possibly save it. We'll get our samples back to the lab after they're mounted and dried. Sand them down flat, which gives us a flat surface, a uniform surface. We'll use the stereo microscope and some measuring equipment to actually measure ring widths and plug them into statistical programs or graphically. Once we've got a chronology built that's a strong correlation, we can then actually date the whole chronology. It's not just looking at trees or houses. I mean, you can look at furniture. There's all kinds of different applications for it. Or they really didn't start recording climate until 1890s, so we don't have any true climate data before then. If we can build chronologies back longer and use our climate data to link up with the tree rings, we could actually build a regression analysis to apply throughout the entire chronology and see what the weather was like 2,000 years ago. You can also look at global warming. If there's an increased growth trend or a decreased growth trend over the last 10 years, tree rings also record the chemistry of the atmosphere how much CO2 levels, uh, carbon emissions, just anything that's in the atmosphere, those trees are going to record. Last summer, I got to do a field study in Southern California in the Indio National Forest. I was actually the one of two undergrads that got to go. Everybody else was mostly PhD students. And all of that is thanks to this great department we have here in the geosciences. Our geography professors here, I mean, they'll bend over backwards to help you. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have been able to do any of what I've been able to do.